Hi you guys, this is Isabel, the never ending planner mom. I have another plan with me in my B6TN for you today in my beautiful inner radiance. And uh, this whole part, by the way, was supposed to be a uh, talk through, but I had some copyrighted music that was playing in the background. And so I, and I had no idea what it was, so I just scrapped the audio. So that's why I seem like I'm talking to you, but I'm really not <laughs> talking to you now on the voiceover. So this is future Isabel. Ooh. I'm going to be using the 90s princess kit from Clover Prince Co, formerly HMZ Designs. And this is still available in her Etsy shop, all, uh, except that it is as a printable. And right now her printables are all 50% off. So you can go check them out on Etsy. Just make sure that uh, you let her know that uh, I sent you. So I'm also going to be using those pink date covers from Simply Beautiful Plans. That beautiful dangly bow is from Be Happy Plans. And I will have uh, Be Happy Plans' coupon code in the description below. I'm also pulling in the Hobonichi Weeks and as well as these foiled elements at least i'll try to pull in as many as i want uh, as i can because i'm going to be doing a completely different type of um uh, what's a, what am i looking for a completely different layout and i'm also pulling in some uh, photo corners from blanket planner this is my spread from last week the week of the 19th to the 25th of august and i used a kit from papery factory it turned out so beautiful and i also added this beautiful bow from be happy plans and that one is currently in her shop the dangly one is not but uh here we go so i'm using the kit and here i think i'm explaining to you what i'm gonna be doing and um you know what why don't we just get started oh this is what my passion planner looks like it never looks like that uh it's actually kind of freaking me out so but the reason that i left it completely blank is because i'm going to film a really quick how i use my passion planner as a catch-all and it's going to be you know basically the only video you'll see with that so the the left side of my insert is going to be strictly used as like a Hobonichi section. And then the rest is going to be kind of like, I'm using the sheet as a, um, kind of like as a ruler. And yeah, so the rest of the, the sheets I'm going to be using as a kind of like as a personal insert, you know, like the personal rings insert. Excuse me, with the, um, what do you call them? You know, like the little uh, vertical boxes that you'll have underneath and usually you'd have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on one page and then the next page you'd have um, the last four days. But, oh, sorry, and at the, right at the beginning of the week, like right next to Monday, there would be, you know, kind of like your sidebar. Well, that's kind of sort of the idea that I was going with, except in a slightly bigger plan. So I have my Hobonichi section that I'm putting the cute little strips because, and that really, really helped since I don't have lines or I didn't make any lines. I just wanted to do it, you know, just eyeballing it basically. So they really, really helped. And then realized, why am I still in the planner? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm adding the um, the three heart checklists from the Hobonichi kit and those is uh, those I'm actually going to be using to track my sleep my water and my vitamin intake and the uh, the little full boxes on the side or half boxes I don't know what to call them that's going to be to track my art for the week so like what art I'm going to be practicing, if I'm going to be doing some watercolor or if I'm only going to be sketching because I am, I am currently working on uh, face studies. So uh, yeah, I'm, I need a lot, 
<laughs> a lot of work. So, and then that little section uh, that was kind of the extra, I chose that as my sidebar. So I put in tasks. It's basically like whatever is going to be coming up, things that we need to do. Uh, for the week and then I just staggered my full boxes as well and I put a skincare tracker uh, as my habit tracker and the skincare script and skincare um, jar is from Be Happy Plans and uh, where am I now okay so I'm just adding the header overlays on all the fold boxes so that's why this part was all fast forwarded so now we're gonna get started with the actual planning. So I picked this little that has a star on it and that's to say that I had a doctor's appointment um, Monday morning at 9.40 and I had not slept. I actually called them, left them a voicemail at 5.20 in the morning because I still hadn't slept and I was starting to feel tired and like I told them, I was gonna call them back and reschedule but the very big chance that if I fell asleep I would be gone like there would be no way for me to wake up like I I was totally exhausted so anyway they didn't call back so I'm thinking they might not be very happy or like or I think I said that they can call me back I don't remember anyway it was early I hadn't slept so you know <laughs> and yeah so that was my priority for Monday so for Tuesday I have one I had one priority and it was to start uh, figuring out uh, some laundry so I did a bit of laundry for Wednesday the girls are coming back so I'm gonna be using like all the stuff that I'm using right now is basically from the kit the only thing I haven't used from the kit right now like since I started planning day to day is that laundry basket and that's from Simply Beautiful Plants from her freebie or her monthly freebie so I'm using the car icon at the top with one of the labels from the kit and that is to say that the girls are coming home tomorrow because today's Tuesday and while well, I'm doing the voiceover and did the filming and uh, that's basically what I did today I did a lot of filming I edited I finished editing the what's it called oh the spread from last week uh, yes the icon I put on Wednesday underneath the label is a grocery cart I don't know if you can see it I can barely see it because well if I'm looking at my screen because I only have a tiny little screen on my phone and I just added a rescheduled script from Silver Antler Co. and I'm adding a cute little silver bow with the uh, laundry machine on Thursday because that's going to be a huge laundry day. We really need it, need to reorganize uniforms and stuff like that because the girls are starting school next week. Yuck. <laughs> So for Friday, I'm going to be adding a Today header with a matching quarter box to say that uh, that's a work day. And then for Saturday, I'm adding a box, but I really, I don't actually have anything planned. I just decided to add one for, oh, and I'm pulling in this work script, sorry, for Friday. And that's from Bodacious Prince. And I have a little gnat that's flying in my face. That's great. Um, where are we? Okay, so for Saturday, like I was saying, I'm adding a quarter box. I still don't know. We don't have anything planned, so it might actually, um, it's basically going to be like, um, paying bills and stuff like that. Um, and then, um, for Sunday, I wrote, uh, that's an important header, and that's because... Um, we are going to be prepping for the week. So now I'm going to add, yeah, I'm going to add all the corners and I only kept a little bit of the footage and then just, I skipped the rest because I figured you didn't want to see like me putting them all on the full boxes. So now I'm figuring out what I'm going to do with uh, well, my spread 
So uh, I took a day off from doing any art on Monday. I did some sketching uh, today and worked on faces like I was saying. I'm doing a face study and um, the way I tried to learn was extremely <laughs> frustrating. Oh my gosh. It's ugh. Anyway, I don't think I want to do it that way again, but I don't know. We'll figure something out. So I'm basically leaving my weekend open because I, you know, if I happen to be sketching or doing some watercolor or whatever, you know, um, I don't really want it to be a scheduled thing for the weekend. It's whatever I feel like doing. So for the, uh, the three heart checklist, that's what I'm starting to write down now. So basically my goal is to sleep between 11 and 7 in the morning and it's already midnight now on Tuesday so you know well it's 11 53 p.m. Um, yeah I'm doing really good at my you know thing but um, I'm just I'm having a really hard time with getting back on track um, then I want to see like my water intake. I'm not actually counting how many waters. Maybe I should. Um, like how many cups of water I drink in a day. And I just put like a wiggly line next to that because I kind of sort of drank enough water, but probably not enough. So um, yeah, I'm just filling in the rest of my spread. And what am I saying? Oh, yeah, I wasn't sure if I should grab a grocery shopping script from Be Happy Plans, but I think, but I started thinking that maybe I used the last one in last week's spread, so I just figured, ah, I already have the pen in my hand. Why don't we just uh, write Food Basics and be done with it? So, see, now I'm doing the big laundry day, and I literally wrote big, big. <laughs> So I'm not sure what. And then this is prep for school. Wow. And uh, I think I'm done. Yeah, there you go. So cute little silver foiled wiggle. That's what's left over. I have plenty to use in, a, in another spread. I don't have the full boxes, but that's okay. I can figure out another way. I mean, I can use the, the checklists. So thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you all later. Bye.